Hey guys, my name is Batsumio, and today I finally gotten around to attempting the Calibri Pistol Challenge. This has been something that you guys have been requesting for a very long time now, and admittedly, I've been putting this one off. First of all, it's because it took me a long time just to get to rank 10 as the Scout class. I didn't even really attempt to do that to begin with, uh, but also because this is the Calibri that we're talking about. I know that everyone likes to joke around that the Calibri is overpowered, it's amazing, it's the best pistol in the game, and it needs to be nerfed, but in reality, that's just not the case. And so, the biggest thing that I had to overcome with this challenge is obviously the fact that it does no damage against the enemy. Depending on how far away you are from someone, if you hit them in the chest, it will do upwards of 1 damage to 5 damage. That's it. And with the 7 rounds in its magazine, you're not killing someone from 100% to 0. It's impossible if you hit them in the chest. The only way that you can kill someone with the Calibri is if you go for headshots. Now the cool thing about this gun is that technically, it's one of the highest skill cap weapons in the game because if you do hit someone in the head, it does 25 damage up close. This thing has the highest headshot multiplier, I believe, out of every single weapon in the game. And so if you are up close and you have to be pretty much directly in front of them and you hit them in the head four times, you will drop them from 100% to zero. Now, the other thing that you have to overcome with this weapon, if that wasn't enough, is that it also has a very long reload animation. You would think with that pathetic damage that it would be able to compensate in other aspects of the gun, but the reload is not the case. Now, I will mention that the animations that DICE added for this gun are amazing. Either when you bring it out to your hand, it looks like you're using the force, it just kind of travels across the screen, or when you're reloading it, all of them are amazing. They add a nice flair to the game. I mean, this is this is one of the coolest guns in the game for that very reason, but it also is a very lengthy reload animation. Uh, I will mention that one sort of redeeming quality of the gun is that it does have a high rounds per minute. Basically, as fast as you squeeze the trigger, a bullet's gonna fly down range, and while you only have seven rounds, if you are accurate enough and you are landing headshots, you can drop someone fairly quickly with that high rounds per minute. And so the first time that I sat down to complete this challenge, I didn't put a whole lot of thought into it. I joined a server, switched over to the Calibri, ran around, and went to town. And by went to town, I mean I died over and over and over again and didn't get a single kill for about an hour. It was incredibly frustrating. I'll be honest, after that first attempt, I didn't want to complete this challenge. A couple days passed and I thought to myself, all right, you're an idiot. You have to think about this a little bit more. Yes, maybe the best of best players out there can line four headshots in a row when automatic fire is killing them. Maybe they can do it, but clearly you're not that good. So let's think about this challenge a little bit more and try to approach it more tactically. Then I thought to myself, oh yeah, camping snipers are a thing. That would, that would actually make things a lot easier. I thought of a couple of maps where I knew camping snipers would congregate, and really this is the result. Fowl's Fortress, by the way, is a gold mine for this challenge. As long as the enemy holds the fortress and your team isn't causing a ruckus inside, they're not trying to take any of those points, if you're able to sneak in and catch them by surprise, you can almost always guaranteed find four or five snipers hanging up there who are completely oblivious to their surroundings. I went on a three or four kill streak with the Calibri all by my lonesome simply because they had blinders on and didn't know that the sniper directly next to them died to the Calibri. It was amazing. It's, it's, it's easily one of the most humiliating ways to kill someone, and to do it in a kill streak, to kill three or four people in a row, is incredibly satisfying. Now, if you actually want to get kills with this gun reliably and somewhat consistently, the best way of going about it, and sort of the way that I cheated, you probably have already noticed, is that I used the Martini up close and personal. The Martini is one of the hardest hitting rifles in the game. It does 90 damage up close basically every time if you hit him in the chest, and that means that when you switch on over to Calibri, as long as you're hitting them in the body or a headshot, it only requires two bullets to drop them. You can land two shots, I can sometime land two shots, and while of course this isn't an M1911 in those situations, you're not going to be able to switch on over to this when you're in a sticky spot where you missed that first shot with the Martini. Uh, if you want to reliably drop someone with this gun, Using this combo is probably the best way of handling things. Uh, overall, while there was a lot of growing pains initially, I'm really glad that I attempted the Calibri Pistol Challenge. Sure, it took some time to get adjusted, but when I finally started to move around the map like a silent little assassin, bided my time and went for camping snipers or people who were prone, people who are prone are also prime targets because while they may be shooting at you, their head isn't moving a whole lot, so they're also good. But when I was finally able to be successful, it was incredibly gratifying. Uh, but yeah guys, that is about it for today's terrible weapon challenge. I hope you enjoyed. If you guys have a setup or a terrible weapon that you would like me to use in Battlefield 1, 
Let me know down below. Uh, this usually is a series, I know I haven't done in a long time, but this is a series where I take your recommendations, your horrible loadouts, and I attempt to be successful on the battlefield. And so if you guys have any crazy setups or any, or any challenges that you would like me to attempt, let me know down below. Uh, but yeah guys, until tomorrow, have a good one and take it easy.